welcome back to Beyond the Ski On, and last time I ended halfway through the level. So this is where I was. There we go. And at this point in the level, you want about half of your life left. At least half, so I'm doing pretty good so far. So that's if you don't want to use a health pack. So anyway, if we come into this room, you can see these cages here. And if you come to the right, she will look up at whatever that is. And in the other direction, on the other side of the room, there's a gate here. And you can just see a gate behind that big face there. So coming around to this side, there is a jump switch. And this opens the higher gate. There we go, so if we make our way up to the top, to that gate... So come up to here, you want to be a bit more to the left just here. And at this point you can just... Whoop. Yeah, jump up and then jump up again, and then press down to flip back. <laughs> so in here is another lever. And this opens the lower gate. So for now, we can't actually do anything else in this room. So we need to go through this gate. And as soon as we do, we will get an update. So if we have a look at that. Observed large disc panel in room with three created roll balls. Personally, I would call them boulders, but whatever. Can't operate now, find use for this later. So if we just continue along this passage, take a right and a left, and just you know run towards the chain here and hold action, she'll grab it. There's nothing on the other levels in between. So just come straight to the, the bottom and you can see a keyhole and you might be thinking well I don't have a key yes we do we picked it up in the last video so use that get pushed out of the way by the gate and this room is very much like the Peru level in uh, Tomb Raider Legend we need to raise these two statues twice so we need to pull four levers all together four levers all together. I'm slurring my words today. So I hop up to the top here. And you want to start and run and jump over to there. And on the other side of the wall there is a gap we need to get to. So I'll just go over to there. Because you can only do these levers in a certain order. And that was that grate just there falling away. Makes getting over there so much harder. Because uh, for some reason I can't do a half tile run and jump here. She just doesn't do it. So I like to save the game here. Because it's not an easy jump to make. And it frustrates me to keep having to climb back up all the time. Okay, and so run and jump, and you want to be closer to the right hand side of those ledges there. So run and jump and veer. Oh, that wasn't too good at all, was it? Okay. Whoa, that was crazy. Fantastic. Okay, so just shimmy into this gap. Here we go, and... Oh. I don't like crawling at all. So I'll show you at the end here, this is a block that needs to be lowered, because the last lever, or switch, is behind there. So we need to do all the switches and then come back to this point, which is slightly annoying, but... Well, it wouldn't be Tomb Raider otherwise, would it? So pull this first switch here. Oh, 
Okay, so the block we were on has lowered so we don't pull the switch again. I don't fully understand the idea, but it stops us pulling the switch again. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Okay, so here I am back at this spot. I've just uh, pulled the lever and I'm going to not run. So the door we came through has just closed. I don't know why, because we're not really going to be going anywhere anyway, but whatever. So there is a, a hidden monkey bar here. It's not very noticeable. So we can get to the other side using that. we can see the second lever already. Also we can see a grate above. I don't know, is that lava? Fire? Coal? I don't know. You get the idea. So pull it and then hop back. You can see Lara in the top corner there. So uh, that fall drops down. It falls down, drops down, whatever you want to say follow the passage round into here. Here we go and lever 3 is right here. So you've just noticed on the right hand side that gate's open at the top. So we can't do anything with that just yet but we will once all the levers are pulled. And the last lever is right next to the first lever. So we need to go all the way back. And I think the easiest way is just to... Uh, well the easiest way would possibly be to drop down and then run and jump to the, uh, the ledges. I'm gonna go this way, use the monkey bars. I'm also going to save just here, just in case. Okay, so just hop back, wait for the fire, and then I recommend grabbing in the air just in case she's possibly likely to hit her head. And then back across the monkey bars. You know, when you don't know what you're doing, this section is actually really complicated. But uh, when you realise you're just trying to find p four switches to pull, it's uh, it's pretty simple. Funny how things like that work. Alright, so now we can get to this bit. So just pull this last lever. Okay, so now we need to go to that room with the uh, the boulder inside the cage. That room over there. So I will be taking the um, the route which consists of coming up this block here. Okay, so just like we did before, run and jump to that ledge. And this time that grate will not lower. Okay. So just push this boulder now, this crate with this boulder in, all the way to the end as far as it will go. And that will open the gate right below. Okay, nearly there. And you can see that's open now. So uh, the quickest way out to the gate would be just to pull this boulder out twice. It won't close the gate, so there's no worry there. And then just hop over the boulder. Oops. Okay. 
OK. And as we come through here, there are scorpions, which are poisonous. So when you're doing a Nomad pack run, you do not want to get hit by the scorpions. <laughs> Goes without saying, really. Then there's three, so that's one. Uh, the other one is right there. Oh, and the third one is already coming around the corner. Okay. So, follow the passage round. There aren't many pickups in this last half of the level. Um, I recommend saving just here. Just in case, um, you know, the sections where you think you're doing pretty good, and then, okay, damage there, which is unavoidable. Uh, sections where you think you're doing pretty good, and then you just suddenly die without any warning. And you have to redo everything. So there's um, there's not really many pickups, like I said, in this last bit. So I'm just going to get straight on with the tasks at hand. Pull this block on the right hand side out. And we want to put it over here so we can access the ladder. Because it's too high for Lara to reach as it is, so we need the block. So push it once more. and then just push it all the way to the end. See, when you get to the wall on the right here, just push it once more. That's it. So that's kind of a marker. I don't think you can push it any further. I've never tried. Oh, you can! Well, anyway, now we know. Oh, stop pushing it! Where are you going? Oh, let me just pull it back again. Right, taking all my fingers and thumbs off the buttons. Okay. <laughs> so now I'll just climb up. So just make your way all the way to the top, and then you've got monkey bars to cross as well. So all the way across the monkey bars as well. So when you get to the end, she will automatically just drop down. Um, I didn't actually show you across the pit. There is a large doorway. We need to get to it. So, uh, well, basically we need to fill the pit up with water. Here we go. So just come through this crawl space here. And then you can just about see there's another crawl space below. So just drop to that and climb on in. And this lever does not fill the pit with water. This actually opens a door in the pit, which we will get to once it's filled with water. To fill it with water is incredibly difficult because there's a mercenary shooting and we can't shoot them back. Oh, here we go. So just come back around, make your way back to the monkey bars, and that mercenary has now spawned. So I do have pretty good health right now. You want as much as you can, can get. Mm, can you see him? Yeah, there he is. You can just see him. So this bit is very much trial and error. I often redo this bit many times. So I recommend not lingering at the edge, because I think he kind of knows you're right at the edge. And he has a, uh, a sniper type gun, or something like that and also a grenade launcher. And when he uses the grenade launcher, you are completely safe because the grenades cannot reach you. So if you if you see the slope there, you can just see from here there is a jump switch. So we need to shimmy along the monkey bars and drop down at the right point on the slope to get to the jump switch. Oh, I don't like this bit. <laughs> right, so here I go. Go, go, go. Oh, no, no! Don't do that. Please stop doing that. Oh. 
So basically I was facing the wrong way. There is a point after here where you take a lot of full damage. So you really don't want this mercenary to do too much damage to you. It can take a while. There's no um, continuity to his attacks. So it really is trial and error depending on what gun he's using or how much he's actually shooting. Oh stop it! Oh... That might work. So he will continue shooting but because of the cutscene he won't take damage so hold the swim button and go down so you can he can still shoot you. I don't know why. It's a little bit unfair. So uh, get to the steps because he can still reach you where you are. And oh he's not gone very far. I recommend using the revolver to get rid of him. Yeah you don't like that do you? Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, my controls have stopped working. Why? Nothing is working. Why you do this? Uh, I use a gamepad. So my gamepad's not working. But, uh... Yeah, the um, keyboard controls are working. God damn it! I think I may have to reload and start again. <sighs> okay, so I'm back. I was about to close everything and she uh, suddenly started moving. I do not know what in the hell happened. So, just get rid of this guy. Yeah. Don't like that, do you? Mm. Right, so he drops a large med pack, but we will be coming back this way anyway, so I won't bother getting that for now. So now, if we come into this room, this is uh, the door that we opened. So now we need to open the big door on the side where we were. So just come to the ladder and climb up. Here we go. So just flip backwards onto the ledge. Sometimes, depending on how high you are, she will jump straight onto the ledge. Sometimes she needs to grab the ledge. So whichever scenario, just hold the grab button just in case. And then jump to the monkey bars and then the jump switch. And that big door is now open. Just here. Here we are. Okie dokie. So follow it round to the left. You see a door and a keyhole there. We need to go and find the key. So this door in front here will open when we approach it. And in this room, in the corner here, there are some shotgun shells. And also there are some flares just here. And if we continue round, there is a lever here. And it shows you what it does. There, so uh, we're going to make our way straight into that room, and that's right at the bottom here. You know, I am a little concerned about my health. There is a, a high drop coming up, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to make it. Anyway, we'll see. If I don't make it, I will have to redo <laughs> that bit with the mercenary. Don't really want to, but uh, 
Yep. Oh. So somewhere in this room there is a scorpion. It's kind of just run around see if you can find it. I hear it. I did, I can't now. Oh, there it is! And between uh, moving the block, another one will turn up. So we want to put it there, where that uh, you see like a bit of wood is, a ledge. So, here we go. Whoa, there it is! <laughs> Crikey! <laughs> right, so I just move the block to that spot. Right, here we go. So you just climb the block and then uh, climb up to the top. When I get up onto the top, I'm going to test out the um, the fall, just in case I don't have enough health. Right, bear with. Oh. Nope, I'll redo it. You see, you see what I do for you people. Oh, he's got a grenade launcher. I can hear it. Good. Very good. You see, this is what we want him to do. So remember, swim down straight away. Oh, perfect. Right, so now you've seen how it can work. Oh, he's shooting at me! We'll see you back at that spot. Right, so here I am, I'm back. I've moved the block into place. So I'm going to climb up. I have significantly more health this time. So uh, that went very good. That's what you want him to do every time. So just climb up onto the top. And you can see this odd looking tile here. The goal is to raise that so you can reach the gap there. So, basically, just make your way around the pillars, pillars and blocks. It's pretty simple to know where to jump to. So from here just uh, press down to flip backwards and you can see this odd tile on the left here. That raises that platform which is timed so that just lets us get to the next ledge. So it gives you plenty of time. Whoa! I didn't think I was going to get that. Oh dear. So uh, make your way around. Press the back button again, the down button. And um, from here, we want to get to the crawl space up there. So, just climb up here, grab the monkey bars, and it, all there is inside this crawl space is a pressure plate which is not timed and that's 
is what raises the platform. Here we go, so just follow it round. Here's the pressure plate. So you've got plenty of time, it's not on a timer. And that is on the first block that we stood on, don't forget. Right, you can just drop straight down from here, but you will take a significant amount of fall damage. If you want to get it back up to the monkey bars, you need to press jump and down. I don't know why jump and down, because you think jump would just be enough, but for some reason she doesn't grab it. Don't know why. There you go. Okay, and this is where we need to take all of that fall damage. Because there is no way down. Because we got onto here by the timed platform there. But to raise the platform, that's over on the other side. So unfortunately... Oh, 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 look at that. Oh, so much fall damage. Okay, so now we want to climb back up onto the block that we moved. I've lost my block. I thought it was there. Where's my block? Where's the door? Well, there's the door. So the block will be over here. Oh, Kadoka. So climb back up just as you did before. Okay. Here we go. So the ladder is on the left hand side. And this lad is a little unusual. It's got a gap in it. So it's actually uh, pretty simple to get across. It's just one of those things that will stump you. One of them simple things. So what you want to do, you want to run and jump. Oh no! Did I take damage? I don't think I took damage there. I'm going to save it actually. There we go. Okay, so I'll climb up and try again. So run and jump. Okay, she actually jumped that time. need from here is the teardrop gem just here. We need two of those. And we place them in the room that we need the key for. So it's kind of one of those things where you're collecting things but you don't know why you're collecting them yet. So right, careful on this ladder. Get to the bottom and then drop and grab. And this bit's not so high so you can just drop. So oh, now we just need to get back into the, the big watery area, so we can drop easily from here onto the block. And also the door closed behind us, so in order to open it, since we've been doing all that jumping around, this block that I'm standing on now, that has raised, so that wasn't always high. So jump to here and climb up, and in order to open the door, there is a jump switch right here. And Lara does not take full damage here. I believe it's because it shows as a cutscene. So, very grateful for that. And don't get cocky on these stairs either, because you will just fly down them. Okay. So, just make your way back and 
Now you have to work out which door you've opened. I think it might be this one. Yes, so it's straight across at the top. Swim at the top of the statue, because it's a bit buggy. It doesn't let you by. So we need to pull this lever here. I can't quite remember what this does. It possibly opens the next door. So just swim back. Yeah, I assume it does, because now we're looking for a new door. And it was this one straight across. So above the statue to get by. They are incredibly annoying. And now another lever in here. But it's behind that block. We need to lower the block. So come to the end here and step on the pressure plate. Simple enough, I hear you say. No. Because that's why. <laughs> so duck down there under the darts. And now we can pull the switch. Okay, so now Lara can interact with those strange blue stones. Oh, oh, one sec. Right, I'm back. Oh, well, at least my phone hasn't gone off. Um, where am I? Oh yeah, I'm going to do the things with the, the blue things. So uh, what this does, when you activate both of them, the water level will lower. Here we go, second one. Okay, so what we need to do now, is the room that it just showed us, we need to climb up to there, we need to open it. And you can see here, this is actually the, the second teardrop gem. So, we don't actually open that door, we get behind the gem like we did with the, uh, the keystone at the start of the level in the last video. I hate long ladders. I hate a lot of things. I hate visitors. Okay, and so when you shimmy to the right, this is where you want to drop down onto that ledge below. And so the door it showed us in that cutscene is right there. And to open it is something that I needed to look up because I never would have thought to pull out this statue here. I had a lot of trouble working out how to open that door. Okay, so now we just make our way over there. Okay, you shouldn't need to grab in the air. Usually she just grabs it. And be warned, somewhere along this passageway is a scorpion. Okay, now taught that scorpion who's boss. And careful round this corner. This is the way down to the gem. And also, now we're right next to it, you can see that there is a key. That's the key we want. So now we just need to make our way all the way back out. And to that new doorway. Into a new room. Okay. 
So the way to get out of here, or you can see the ledges just there. So you need to run and jump to them. I always dread doing this bit. I always catch them, but I always dread it. Just in case. Whoa! That's not what I meant to do. Whoa! <laughs> I'm surprised. I shouldn't be, but I am. Okay, and then just across to here. Awesome. And you want to be careful of the beam because it will get in the way. So just run and jump to the other side. Oh my goodness! I'm gonna blame the beam. Okay, try again. very precisely lining up. Oh, what? I'm gonna save it right here. You know when something's simple enough and you just keep messing up? Finally! God damn! Damn! <laughs> Okay, so just jump to the ladder and then go all the way up to the top. And I highly recommend saving when you get to the top of the ladder. If you don't want to use a med pack, that is. There are two mercenaries. And I'm very bad at doing the whole roll behind the enemy thing. Okay. So this determines how will I do? How much life I have, whether I die or not. Whoa, I'm in front of him. That's not fair, he had a grenade! Oh, what an ass. You see, when you don't want them to have grenade launchers, they have grenade launchers. I wish I'd thought of that sooner. Okay, so the first guy dropped a small med pack, and the second guy dropped some shotgun shells, and now we can go into the new room. So on the right hand side there is a Jaguar. What are you doing? No! Stop doing that! Stop doing what you're doing! Oh dear. <sighs> okay. So right by this skeleton is a very well hidden shotgun. And now we need to uh, pull two levers to stop these burners, one for each burner. Because they are actually the receptacles for the, uh, the teardrop gems. So one of them is behind this very large statue. Okay. And the next one is right in this corner over here. Here we go. So now both of those burners are off and we can go and place the gems.
Okay, so after the epic cutscene, we get a couple of joeys, which you can shoot them, but they seem very much like the the golden statue people from Tomb Raider 4. You have to shoot them in a certain spot. And I don't want to get hit by them, because they will possibly kill me in one hit. So now here we've got the stone disc lock which is what we want to put where we were right at the start of the video. Where are they? There they are. So now whoa, we go all the way back to where we came from and they can follow you all the way up to the water so don't think you're safe because you're not. Okay. So don't forget the large med pack that that mercenary dropped right here. And be careful of the blades here. And you literally want to make your way all the way back to the start of the... Well, I was going to say start of the level. It's not the start of the level, it's where I started the video. And there are more enemies. We are very close to the end of the video. And the enemies are snakes, so they are pretty easy to uh, avoid. But there are four snakes, so be warned. Right. And I mentioned uh, the problem with the save screen to you before, didn't I? And, uh, well, this is where it happens again. Here we go. All the saves. Okay, so that door closes, and what we want to do is place the stone disc lock. Oh, are you kidding me? You know, can you actually believe that? We never get visitors unless I'm recording. I know, right? Twice in one video. <sighs> okay, climb up and shimmy round. Oh, what a day. I've had such a busy day already. So many people. Alright, so you just want to make your way to the receptacle for the stone disc lock. Here it is. Okay, so what that did was lowered these platforms, only very small platforms, that the, um, the blocks were on, so now we can actually push the blocks. And you want to push each one all the way to each door. So there's a pressure pad there that will open the door. And then you just need to push it straight on in. And you just need to do that with the other two as well. Yeah, you know, I still can't believe we've had two people knock on the door in how much amount of time. <laughs> the only people that come round are relatives. I should have expected it though, because, you know, I am recording. These things happen. I still can't believe my phone's not gone off. There's still time. Okay, so when you push this in, you will get a cutscene. You want to try and flip backwards before that. Whoop. Weapons. Wait for the cutscene. And after the cutscene you want to try and save the game. This is all just so you're prepared. I don't think the snake 
snakes are actually poisonous. I've never been poisoned by a snake. So basically, jump around like a nutter. Forgive me for not talking, I do tend to forget to talk when I'm concentrating. Are they gone? I believe they are. Excellent! Awesome! So now, if we come up to this funny looking thing, press the action button, we can place the ski on piece here. Okey-dokey. And placing that there opened a door over here. And we have all the secrets in this level. And because of that, we have access to that area. If not, that would be closed and you have to go down the slope there. But, I got all the secrets. <laughs> so there's a, a large, no, a small med pack there. Shotgun shells. Large med pack, oozy clips, and ding ding trophy. So just slide down to the next level. Thank you for watching. See you next time.